Hey guys, it's Dr. Diaz again with Momentum Chiropractic and Rehab. Uh, we have Diana here. Um, she's come to us, she has a little bit of a, a shoulder issue um, that we've uh, addressed already with uh, some therapies. Um, with some examination, we have uh, when we're uh, putting the shoulder into an internal rotation, stretching the posterior muscles, um, we're having some irritation. Uh, she injured herself doing some dips um, at the gym, uh, kind of heard a pop in there. So we did a little bit, like I said, we, we checked supraspinatus, um, we checked all the uh, rotator cuff muscles, um, and we were kind of pointing here towards the teres minor or the posterior shoulder, shoulder muscles. Um, so upon palpation, it's very tight. Um, we have, uh, uh, some, like I said, some uh, uh, action that's causing a little bit of tenderness within the muscle. Um, so we've done already, we, we've done some electronic stimulation um, uh, just to kind of loosen the muscle up, get, some, get a good micro massage within there. Um, we've used some hot packs to warm up and get some increased circula uh, circulation um, on the muscle. Um, I've already explained that we're gonna need a series of therapy um, to try to relieve that muscle. Um, at this point during a palpatory examination, and uh, orthopedic examination. Um, we're seeing that there's an injury within that muscle. Um, we, our options of care are gonna be a series of treatment to try to relieve or try to heal um, a, a, a sprain strain within that area. Um, if we don't have any relief, then at that point, we uh, might have to move towards uh, imaging. Uh, possibly the best way to see an injured or torn muscle would be an MRI. Now, my, my initial clinical um, uh, assessment doesn't point me to an MRI immediately because I don't think there's a, a complete tear. We've done exams before where we've had to send for imaging and there have been a complete tear, but the high percentage of, of, of it not being a tear was the better, in my opinion, the better recommendation is a series of care. Um, and then from there, we can determine uh, what needs to be done um, uh, if there's imaging at that point needed, okay? So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually perform a little bit of a cervical adjustment, thoracic adjustments, lumbar adjustments. And right after the adjustments, we're gonna do some uh, active release technique on that uh, um, trigger point or on that muscle here. Okay, so vamos a hacer unos ajustes quiroprácticos, okay? So let's have you stand right over here for me, okay? Y usted, si puede, nomás uh, hágase un poquito más para enfrente en la silla. Right there, y luego recárgase aquí para atrás. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and communicate, guys, bilingually. Um, speaking to the audience uh, in English or Spanish, if you want to hear it in Spanish as well. Um, but uh, to her, I'm going to speak to her in Spanish, okay? Vamos a ajustar aquí por el cuello. Very good, okay, very good. So guys, as you're watching me as I'm talking, I am definitely palpating within the cervical spine and I could feel the restriction right here at C2. Relájese aquí, muy bien, okay. Acuéstese aquí boca abajo. All right, I can definitely feel the restriction as I'm doing a, a palpation and feeling the cervical movement. So puede acostarse aquí boca abajo. All right, very good. Vamos a ver aquí arriba. ¿Cómo se sintió? Bien. Poquito acá. Poquito dolorcito. Acá. Yep, okay. Very good. So definitely a little bit of pain here in the neck. Now, mind you, if we're dealing with this injury that's been going on for almost a year now, I'm absolutely looking for discomfort uh, and uh, 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 into the cervical region as well. Aquí lo siente también. Okay. Aquí no tanto o igual? Igual? Okay, very good. Respire hacia adentro. Saca el aire completamente. Good, okay. We're going to una pomadita aquí, okay? I'm going to use a little bit of lotion here uh, just to loosen up some of that soft tissue that we just adjusted through um, in that mid thoracic or that upper thoracic region here. Good. So we got some trigger points that here that are accelerated or that we feel a little aggravated here. Dolorcito en estos músculos. So a little bit of pain in these muscles here. Okay. Poco dolor ahí. Okay. O bastante. Yeah, I'm sorry. So we've got a lot of pain in these muscles here. Okay. Relájese aquí. Okay. Relaja el cuello. Good. Okay. Relax here. Okay. Respira hacia adentro. Saca el aire Very good. Okay. Acuéstese de lado mirando hacia este lado. Okay. Para acá. Acostada de lado. Y aquí la pierna de arriba doblada. El de abajo manténgalo recto. Okay. Hacia acá. Aquí. Este brazo para acá. Ya en centro relaja la cabeza. Okay. 
Respire hacia adentro. Saca el aire completamente. Good. Muy bien. Acueste mirando hacia el otro lado. All right. Okay. We're going to adjust through the lumbar spine. We did one side first. We're going to get some movement here through the sacrum. Respire hacia adentro. Saca el aire completamente. Good. Muy bien. Acueste boca arriba. Mirando hacia el cielo. Okay. Extiende los pies para acá. We're going to get a little bit of ankle adjustments. Now she does have a knee injury, so we're going to be gentle through that knee here. Relax here. Good. Okay. All right. Get a little movement here. Good. Okay. Very good. All right. Vamos a quedar a sentarla aquí. Okay. Y puede sentarse mirando hacia este lado. All right, guys. We're going to perform a little bit of uh, release techniques onto this uh, shoulder. So probably a better angle is going to be right over here right there, and then you'll be able to see this happening here, okay? All right, so, vamos a empezar. Este brazo lo va a tener primero así, okay? Mm -hmm. Y lo va a llevar hacia este lado, okay? En este brazo, okay? Ready? Extiende el brazo hacia el lado y dele para enfrente. Okay, good. Para atrás hacia... Good. Okay. Dele hacia enfrente. Muy bien, para atrás. Okay. Dale hacia enfrente. Hacia atrás. Good. Dale hacia enfrente. Y hacia atrás. Lo siente. Okay. okay. Good. Relax right here. Ahora con este vamos a enseñarle. Va a doblar así. Y esta lo va a llevar hacia arriba. Okay. Very good. You can stay on the opposite side. We're just showing her on this side. Um, how she's going to perform the movement. Levante el brazo así. <coughs> Dele hacia arriba. Atrás hacia abajo. Dele hacia arriba. Atrás hacia abajo. Ok. Hacia arriba. Atrás hacia abajo. Hacia arriba. Dele, 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 dele. You got it. Para atrás hacia abajo. Y dele hacia arriba. Para atrás hacia abajo. Ok. Ok. Esta vez vamos a empezar así. Y vamos a llevarlo así para acá. Ok. Start right there. You can turn right here. Ok. Dele. Para atrás contra mí. So, hay más dolor cuando usted hace así, ya, yeah, o así, hacia arriba, siente el dolor si tú por ahí adentro, ok, there, dele para enfrente, ok, good, para atrás, good, ok, go, ok, good, forward, otra vez, and then forward, ok, good. Okay, sit here, levanta el brazo así, okay, no me deje que empuje para abajo, dolor con eso, okay. yeah, dolor por aquí, right in here, okay, so go ahead and like this, y dele para arriba, dolor con eso, okay, good, okay. All right, moving in. So definitely we are dealing with a little bit of a rotator cuff injury. Um, series of care, series of treatment would be what would be recommended for this uh, muscle here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll do a follow-up video possibly like in a week, see how she improved, see how, how uh, um, the, the movement's going with the muscle. We'll go from there. All right. ¿Algunas preguntas? ¿Todo bien? Very good. Thank you.